stocks exhibit a variety of price fluctuations, including ups and downs, sideways movement, and occasionally unexpected splits. The conventional and reverse stock splits are the two types. When a business divides its existing shares into more shares, it performs a traditional stock split. The total value of the company's shares stays the same despite an increase in share count, but a decrease in share price. Comparing it to cutting a cake, keep in mind that slicing more pieces simply results in smaller pieces of cake. For instance, Apple split 7 for 1 in June 2014, making each share worth 7. Apple's share price increased from approximately 861 million outstanding shares at a price of $645 to approximately 6 billion shares at a price of $92. Even though there were more shares, Apple's market cap remained unchanged at roughly $555 billion. When a company's stock price is high, it usually splits its shares. Due to high prices, investors may find it challenging to purchase the standard trading unit of 100 shares. A lower price would ideally make the stock more accessible to investors, potentially boosting its liquidity. What takes place then if you own a stock that splits? The value of your shares remains unchanged following a split, just as it remains unchanged for the company's shares overall. Back to the Apple illustration once more, if you round the numbers appropriately, if you had owned one share at $645 before the split, you would have had seven shares, or about $92 at the time of the split. The value of the shares as a whole would remain at $645. Investors frequently think that a stock's price will increase following a split, which is a common misconception about stock splits. A stock split does not ensure a stock's value will increase, even though some studies indicate that split stocks perform better in the following years. Investors must look into the stock's overall financial situation and research more. A reverse stock split is the opposite of a traditional stock split. A the company reduces the number of shares it has in a reverse stock split to raise the price of each share. When the shares drop below the minimum price needed to meet exchange listing requirements, businesses frequently decide to implement a reverse stock split. Stocks worth less than the exchange minimum run the risk of being delisted, preventing them from trading on the exchange. For instance, the American International Group, or AIG, reverse split its shares for 20 in July 2009 to stabilize its stock price. Investors who held 20 shares worth approximately $1 before the split held one share worth approximately $23 following the split. AIG expected a higher price to draw investors and lessen volatility, but the stock kept declining. The value of your investment will stay the same if you own a stock that splits in the end.